Hi there, I'm Jan Hall from Folk Roots Radio in the Quantum Sound Production Studio in Kingsville. We've just recorded a wonderful session for the Sun Parlor that Coffee House Sessions with Julie Ross. Now we're doing a little bit of gear talk. Gear talk. Gear talk. Now, one of the things that oh, really well, comes I'm... out with you is how much you love playing and having making some noise. Just, yeah, <laughs> making noise. A lot <laughs> of instrumentation. Yeah. yeah, and I think I'm a bit of a collector of, of noisemakers. Um, I've got a bunch of ukuleles, uh, a couple that plug in and a few that don't. Um, some are colorful and some are not. But um, I think a nice ukulele should be in every home. Um, it's a real easy way for kids to learn Absolutely. about music. Yeah. There's a lot of one finger chords and things that are really uh, easy shapes, easy for their small hands. Um, you can put a kid in the back of the car. They can play this in the car. Like, you know, small. You can play it around a campfire. It's just, I think every kid should own one. Anyway, um, my dad was uh, uh, a big ukulele player. He uh, actually did a. Um, a stage show taking off George Formby. You know who George oh, Formby yeah, was? Oh, yeah, George Formby, yeah. So he was called the entertainer. The and he ukulele, would do, yeah. All, yeah, so ukulele. I actually have, I inherited from him when he passed, um, a beautiful ukulele banjo that's just yeah. stellar. I love it. And uh, that got me into ukulele. Oh, nice. And that yeah. gives you lovely memories as well. But Absolutely. it is such a yeah. versatile instrument for yeah. people starting off. Now, I noticed when you were doing the session, I think you pretty much mostly played the, the uke. Is that more of your go-to instrument than the guitar? I think guitar? because the um, water music was written on a ukulele. Most of the record was written just beachside or sitting at the campground or just scrubbing away. sitting yeah. in front of Molly and OJ's, just, just wherever I could find a little place to sit, a little nook and cranny to sit with myself in my journal and write. And so a lot of them were written on ukulele. So it just seems to be... Um, for me, a summertime instrument, for sure. I don't play ukulele too, too much in the wintertime, but it's for summertime, for taking around a campfire. You can take this and a washboard and entertain for hours. <laughs> Make you very popular. Hours. Yeah. You also play guitar. You have a yeah. beautiful Takamini um, guitar here as well. We have a, uh, a few guitars at the house and in the studio, but... Um, this is a limited edition. I love this guitar, and actually the one that Jeff was playing is also a, a TAC, and it's a limited edition as well. That's beautiful. Look at um, the inlay. That's beautiful. I actually started, uh, I learned guitar on a 12-string, actually, um, and moved my That's way. That's unusual, isn't yeah, it, to yeah, I think start so. with a 12-string? I think so, but yeah. it made my hands strong, I think. It, I mean, yeah. Larger neck and lots more strings to push on, it made my hands strong. So, um, Then I graduated on to trying to be have a little more finesse than just playing rhythm guitar. So um, Jeff actually got me into uh, playing That's your the husband, string. Jeff? Yeah. 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 So is this your go-to guitar? This is my stage guitar, this one. You yeah. know, guitars like this, they're solid. They just never let you down. If you can invest some good money in a guitar, it just will never let you down. Yeah. And it's like this one. I can take it out of the case and it's still tuned, I think, from when I bought it. Oh, no, I, which is great, you know, because I know you do a lot of open mics and, you yep. know, you do the song circle in Chatham. So you, you really don't have time to, no, to I have need, to tune No, I need time. good gear that's not going to let me down. I think we've yeah. had a few guitars come in through and they <laughs> dissipate out if they if they don't perform well or if we have trouble with any of the electronics. They just don't last on stage. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've been pretty particular about buying good gear. So talking of noisemakers, you have your washboard oh, yes. with you. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to play the, well, the washboard play. in this session, but you said you would play it the guitar. I can't all. play ukulele and guitar and ukulele at the same time, but if I could, And the I washboard would. the same time, yeah. yeah. Um, so the washboard, this guy is actually, um, we picked this up at the Erio Antique Store, and uh, it's... Uh, I just, I love playing washboard. I think I have three washboards that we have fashioned yeah. up Do you now. know anything about this history of this one? I I just know that we bought it at the antique store, and yeah. then none of this was on it. So okay, these so were all it. things. Yeah. Soap dish with a shell. Perfect yeah. for Erio. Um, my my horn is worn out. <laughs> um, and we well, have a, a nice, bell now. This is because I paint uh, little rocks that look like ladybugs so it's suitable as well let's turn him around so he's looking and lots of different notes also 
What I usually do at the campfire is stick it across my lap. These also are very important, these gloves. Um, beer cap gloves, got to drink 10 beers before you can play. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then anything can be done here. You can make, uh, so for certain songs, you would just make your, So, but if you're wearing it, you have a lot more fun with it. Okay, here we go. So if I'm wearing it, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive porches, I must make amen. I work hard on my lifetime with no help from my friends. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? <laughs> That's Julie Ross channeling her inner Janis Joplin for Gear Talk for the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions.